Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufia. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely hit subscribe and the notification bell before we go any further and you miss out on great opportunities to see content such as this in future. Now for today's video, I have been very, very fortunate. Courtesy of Konami, I have managed to get my hands on two boxes of King's Court. That's right, Konami have sent me two boxes of King's Court to open on camera for all of you so that you can get yourself a nice preview of what you might be able to get your hands on if you pick up some of the set. Now we do have some information on King's Court that I'd like to bring to you just before we get stuck in to the absolutely exciting openings. So first of all, you're not going to have to wait long because King's Court is out on the 8th of July 2021. Now if you're wondering what's in King's Court, let's get stuck into that right now. So King's Court brings us a revised version of Yugi's classic strategy, using King's Knight, Queen's Knight and Jack's Knight, with a new high speed summoning strategy that always leaves you with a full hand. We also have the world premiere of Joker's Knight, a monster similar to Magician Souls that can assume the identity of all three of those knights. You can also return it from your graveyard to your hand during each end phase by shuffling another light warrior from your graveyard into your deck, giving you a beefy free summon to use every turn without getting rid of resources from your hand. On top of Joker's Knight, we've also got two more world premier Joker cards, a spell and a trap which give you powerful effects and then return to your hand in the end phase. It's important to keep cards in your hand for this whole strategy, so of course that is exactly what this is all based around. By doing so, you'll ensure that your Arcana Triumph Joker, another world premier card who powers up based on the total number of cards in both players' hands, and lets you discard cards to destroy all face-up cards your opponent controls with the same card type. And if you're thinking about a full hand, that's right, it's not just this new Joker card that has the advantage of having many cards in your hand. How could we forget the Egyptian God card, Sly for the Sky Dragon? Of course, we've just recently had those Egyptian God decks, uh, the Sly for the Sky Dragon and Obelisk the Tormentor ones. And of course, this will aid in that strategy as well. You could even go full Yugi and use Slifer, Arcana Triumph Joker, and your King's Knight, your Queen's Knight, and your Jack's Knight, all in one deck for one powerful strategy. And on top of all of that, we've got Collector's Rares back into the fold. And then naturally, of course, we've also got some unreleased cards from Japan, as well as classic and competitive favourites. So without further ado, let's get stuck into those boxes for you. So here they are, everyone, our two boxes of King's Court. Now, of course, these look absolutely awesome, as they always do, these boxes. Some really cool artwork on there. I've seen some really cool graphics coming out on the Yu-Gi-Oh! social media channels. You should definitely check those out. There are links in the description. Now, of course, on the artwork, we can see some different options there, which you may get in the box. Some really cool artwork there for you as well. Now, I'm absolutely terrible at opening these boxes, as you'll all already know, especially if you're familiar with the channel. But we're going to do our very best to get through these for you, so you can see exactly what you might have a chance at pulling for yourself. And hopefully, we can get one of those really cool collector rares. So I'm absolutely terrible at opening these boxes, but hopefully, this will help me get there. Nice, trusty bit of RAM. Be careful if ever you're opening these boxes, of course, not to damage the contents inside. Okay, so opening the box here, as you can see, we've got different artworks for the packs, which is always really cool because you can play little games with these if you want to, if you're into that sort of thing, and open them in different styles or different patterns or whatever you want to do. But we're going to go ahead and just get stuck into these as quick as we can. I'm too excited. I love opening packs. It's actually one of the best feelings in the world. It never goes away. It doesn't matter how many you open. It's still absolutely awesome as always. I also like to keep these as little display stands. Really, really cool to put your cards in afterwards. Always good stuff. So let's get stuck into these packs and see exactly what we get. Okay, so pack number one. ZW Tornado Bringer. Number C39 Utopia Ray. F0 Utopic Future. This is a really, really important card for how some of these are going to go in the meta, but I'm sure you'll see that in some other videos. Constella Patel... Patel I, can't, I can't pronounce that. M7. Zolga the Prophet. Queen's Knight, of course, one of those cool reprints that we were looking at. And White Rose Cloister. We're just going to do ourselves a big favour and move some of these out of the way. Otherwise, they're just going to end up falling everywhere. Let's go. 
I'm going to have packs all over my room by the end of this. Don't you worry. Converging Wishes. Cloud Castle. Ties of the Brethren. That's a really cool reprint. Number 39, Utopia. Infinite Cards. Rescue Rabbit. Magnet Induction. Like I say, you should probably have a bin on hand if you're going to do this sort of thing, but I never do, and I always tell myself I will, but it never happens. C39, Utopia Ray, Pendulum Transfer. Really cool, because we've just had some Pendulums come back as well. Rivalry of Warlords, that's a really, really cool reprint. Really powerful card. Gravekeeper's Spy, awesome. Jack's Knight. Golden Eyes Idol. And World Legacy Guard Dragon. Again, some really cool reprints in there. Really good stuff. Zolga the Prophet. Warrior Returning Alive. Rivalry of Warlords. Constella card that I can't pronounce. Arcana Extra Joker. There you go. Pretty cool. Looks really, really nice. Powerful Link 3 there. Arcana Knight Joker. That's really cool. That looks awesome as well. I love the artwork. Joker's Wild. The artwork on these is absolutely insane. This looks like a really cool archetype. Actually, definitely one I could see myself playing for a, a hell of a bit of fun. ZW Tornado Bringer. Converging Wishes. The Wicked Dreadroot. Man, I haven't seen this card in ages. This is really cool. ZW uh, Leo Arms. Pendulum Transfer. Zolga the Prophet. Chao Feng Phantom of the Yang Zing. Nice. Yang Zing cards. That's a throwback. And hopefully the lighting's okay for you guys. It's very late at night here, so I'm doing the best I can with what we have. Ties of the Brethren. Arcana Knight Joker. The Wicked Dreadroot. Rota, Reinforcement of the Army, as it's properly known. Infinite Cards. Queen's Knight. XC's Hyper... Oh, it's actually XYZ Hyper Cannon. Man, catching me off guard there. I wasn't ready for that. This Joker's Wild. Zolga the Prophet. The Wicked Eraser. Rescue Rabbit, another throwback card. Golden Eyes Idol. Unexpected Die. Really strong card. Number C39 Utopia Ray. Joker Straight. Discard one card, special on one Queen's Knight from your deck. Add one King's Knight or Jack's Knight from your deck to your hand. Then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon one monster. You can't switch summon monsters from the extra deck the rest of the time except Light Warrior Monsters. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Light Warrior Monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do add this card to your hand, you can only use each effect of Joker straight once per turn. Very nice. A really cool looking Ultra. I really like this archetype, actually. This whole uh, built-up strategy that's going on here. It looks really, really cool. Definitely something I may have to put together after this to play with. Pendulum Transfer. Rivalry of Warlords. Of course, just declare warrior type and ruin your opponent's day. Gravekeeper's Spy. I love Gravekeepers. Jack's Knight. Golden Eyes Idol. ZW Ultimate Shield, and Scrap Twin Dragon. Very, very relevant, of course. Scrap uh, Raptor just came into the fold here. Seeing a massive boost in play for Scraps on the competitive scene. So, of course, a really cool reprint for Scrap Twin Dragon here. Majestic Dragon. You have to forgive me, the lighting on this is weird, so sometimes I can't really see the cards very well. Pendulum Transfer. Dowsing Fusion. Gravekeeper's Spy. Arcana Extra Joker. Baxia, Brightness of the Yang Zing. And Chaofeng, Phantom of the Yang Zing. So any that I've seen before, but just going to kind of skip over here, save ourselves some time.
and Hyper Galaxy for our foil card in this pack. Pot of Duality, that's really cool. That's a really handy reprint. Uh, Golden Eyes Idol, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, Eternal Bond, 39 Utopia, Court of Cards. Very cool. And of course, if you're someone who is interested in this uh, King's Court archetype specialty, then of course, it's something you want to stick around for. Definitely something I'd look at doing on the channel in future as well, covering this absolutely awesome archetype. Okay, Wicked Eraser, Majestic Dragon, Dowsing Fusion, Warrior Returning Alive, C39, Utopia Ray, Pendulum Exceeds, Thunder Speed Summon. The Wicked Avatar. Utopic Future, ZW Eagle Claw, King's Knight, Arcana Knight Joker, Stardust Shaolong, Magnet Induction. And that puts us about halfway through box number one. Let's go. Let's ramp it up. Pendulum Exceed. Oh, I think we've got collectors around the back there. We'll get to that in a minute. Golden Eyes Idol. Wicked Avatar. Rivalry of Warlords. 39, who cares? I'm too excited. Oh, man. This card is absolutely insane. And we've got ahead and pulled this beautiful collector's rare. Very, very fortunate of me. Look at this. This looks absolutely insane. Oh, man. I am a, I'm, I'm a very lucky, blessed man. This is beautiful, man. Really cool. Great job. I'm putting that to one side. That's going to have to go in the binder. Right at the front. Right at the front. Oh, man. This is the first time I've ever pulled a collector's rare out of a pack as well. So I'm super... Ex I'm, oh, man. I'm I'm super stoked. I've been very, very blessed. Uh, Pot of Duality. Oh, look. I'm too excited. Uh, ZW Ultimate Shield. ZW Leo Arms. ZW Eagle Claw. Cloud Castle. Jack Knight. Joker's Wild. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Oh, this is it. This is what it's all about. When you open these packs, just those moments where you pull cards like that. Oh, man, it's 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 truly insane. Uh, Stardust Shaolin. Shaolin. King's Knight. Jack's Knight. Wicked Eraser. Reinforcements of the Army. Gravekeeper Spy. Crystal Girl. Crystal Girl? Man, just look at this. Oh, man, just look at it. Oh, oh, oh. I can't, I can't, guys. I can't keep it together. I don't have it within me. Arcana Night Joker. Infinite Cards. Pendulum Exceed. Unexpected Die. Wind Up Arsenal Zen Mayo. That's really cool. I use this in Duel Links. Dow's Infusion. Number 49. Fortune Tune. Pendulum Exceed. Arcana Night Joker, Pot of Duality, Infinite Cards, Rescue Rabbit, Eternal Bond, Hyper Galaxy, <laughs> ZW Leo Arms, Wind Up Arsenal Zen Mayo, Wicked Avatar, Baxia Brightness of the Yang Zing, Pendulum Transfer, Reinforcement of the Army, Arcana triumph joker that's absolutely beautiful take a look at that really nice crisp artwork nice ultra rare in there beautiful beautiful shalong eternal bond f-zero utopic future you can use this to make the draco future uh baxia converging wishes tornado bringer scrap twin Zen Mayo, King's Knight, Unexpected Die, Ties of the Brethren, Wicked Dreadroot, Reinforcement of the Army, World Legacy Guard Dragon. This is actually a really good reprint, really just low key, very, very good. Eternal Bond, Warrior Return Alive, Ties of the Brethren, King's Knight, Majestic Dragon. ZW Eagle Claw. XYZ Hyper Cannon. We got it right that time. 
Queen's Knight. Zolga. Warrior Return Alive. Rivalry of Warlords. Constella Ptolemy. Arcana Extra Joker. Magnet Induction. And our final one for this box before we get on to number two. There's too much excitement. Can we really top this? I'm not sure that we can. Absolutely insane. Arcana, uh, <laughs> Arcana Night Joker. Zolga the Prophet. Wicked Eraser. Rescue Rabbit. Golden Eyes Idol. Unexpected Die. Hyper Galaxy. On to box number two. Can this be as insane as the first one? Ah. Oh. We can only hope. We can only hope. We can only hope. It's going to be difficult to top, although there's some really cool cards in this set, so plenty more that could come up here that could be absolutely awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm just still very excited about that, as you can tell. <laughs> Can't keep myself together. My wife's going to love this. She's trying to sleep next door, but, you know, here we go. Right. Ugh. Box out the way. We'll do the first lot of packs to one side. Make life a little bit easier. Eagle Claw, King's Knight, Arcane and I Joker, Shaolong, Tornado Bringer, Utopia Ray, and Crystal Girl. Actually, just keep a bin next to it, make your life a lot easier. Unexpected Die, 39 Utopia, Utopia Ray, Pendulum Transfer, Dallas Infusion, Rivalry of Warlords, Magnet Induction. And again, we've had plenty of our archetype for the cover of this box set. Really, really cool. Plenty of cool cards in here. Very, very excited to try that deck out and just have some fun with it. Gravekeeper Spy, Pendulum Exceed, Jack's Knight, Golden Eyes Idol, Wicked Dreadroot, Ultimate Shield, and White Rose Cloister. Try not to absolutely just kill the pack like me. It's not ideal. Majestic Dragon, Zolga the Prophet, Pendulum Transfer, Daos Infusion, Ties the Brethren, Gravekeeper Spy. Oh, nice! Evolves our Dolka. Really, really handy. Unfortunately, Miscellaneous Horus, of course, got obliterated on the limited and forbidden list. But this is a really, really good reprint. And, of course, Dinos is still an absolutely fantastic deck. Obviously, seeing a lot of support indirectly from the likes of Scrap, which have really boosted the deck's potential. Just a really, really cool reprint that was definitely uh, long overdue, in my opinion. So, really good work on that one, Konami. Definitely can applaud that. Definitely can applaud that. Nice ultra-rare reprint. All right, let's see it. Eagle Claw, Arcana Extra Joker, Queen's Knight, Wicked Dreadroot, Cloud Castle, Constella, ooh, Rose Princess. That's some really clean art. Really nice. Pot of Duality, Golden Eyes Idol, Queen's Knight. Eternal Bond, Wicked Eraser, Majestic Dragon, Scrap Twin Dragon. And we are just closing in on halfway in our box. Just three more packs from this side here. Uh, Warrior Returning Alive, C39 Utopia Ray, Tornado Bringer, Converging Wishes. Leo Arms, Pendulum Transfer, Joker's Wild. Honestly, this Joker looks absolutely insane. It's really, really cool. Eternal Bond, Warrior Return Alive, King's Knight, Majestic Dragon, Pendulum Exceed, Gold Dies Idol, Court of Cards. Wicked Avatar, Rivalry of Warlords, 39 Utopia, Arcana Extra Joker, Arcana Night Joker, Infinite Cards, World Legacy Gar Dragon. Lost a bit of focus on the camera there. Pendulum Exceed, Unexpected Die, Zen Mayo, Dao's Infusion, 
Wicked Avatar, Utopic Future, Hyper Galaxy. And our final card from this half of box number two, what will we get? Pot of Duality, Infinite Cards, Rescue Rabbit, Eternal Bond, Leo Arms, Zen Mayo, World Legacy Gar Dragon. Okay, last half of box number two. Let's see what we get. Like I say, very, very hard to top that first box, but here we are. Utopic Future, Constella Patelemy, Zolga, Queen's Knight, Xiaoliang, King's Knight, Burning Soul. If you control level eight or higher, Synchro Monster, add one card from your graveyard to your hand, except Burning Soul, and immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro Summon using monsters you control as material for the rest of the turn after this resolves. Your opponent cannot target Synchro Monsters on the field with card effects. You can only use once per turn. Really cool card, actually. Really nice. Jack's Knight. Wicked Eraser. Reinforcement of the Army. Gravekeeper's Spy. Converging Wishes. Cloud Castle. XYZ Hyper Cannon. Wicked Avatar. Baxia. Pendulum Transfer. Reinforcement of the Army. Shaolong. Eternal Bond. Tadangle Dolls. Sure. Looks a bit like a Cyber Dark card, to be honest with you. Utopic Future, Baxia, Converging Wishes, Tornado Bringer, Zen Mayo, King's Knight, Scrap Twin, Unexpected Die, Ties of the Brethren, Wicked Dreadroot, Reinforcement of the Army, Queen's Knight, Zolga the Prophet, XYZ Hyper Cannon, King's Knight, Pot of Duality, Xiaolong, Leo Arms, Utopia Ray, Cloud Castle, Morph King Stygigel, what? Ptolemy, Pendulum Exceed, Queen's Knight, Pot of Duality, King's Knight, Rescue Rabbit, Rose Princess. I really like the Rescue Rabbit reprint. I mean, everyone loves Rescue Rabbit, right? Eternal Bond, Wicked Eraser, Leo Arms, Zen Mayo, Gravekeeper Spy, Wicked Avatar, World Legacy Gar Dragon. Baxia, Cloud Castle, Pendulum Transfer, Reinforcement of the Army, Utopia. Shaolong, Tin Dangle Dolls, Tin Dangle D Holes, Eternal Bond, Rescue Rabbit, Utopic Future, Baxia Brightness of the Yang Zing, Ultimate Shield, Converging Wishes, Fortune Tune. Just our final three packs here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for making it this far into the video. I do really appreciate it. This is absolutely awesome. Big thanks to Konami for allowing me to take part in this and just get these, <laughs> get this kind of lucky. It's not every day that happens, let me tell you. Uh, Tornado Bringer, Eagle Claw, Zen Mayo, King's Knight, Jack's Knight, Unexpected Die, and Face Card Fusion. All right, last two packs. Let's see what's up. Ties of the Brethren. 39 Utopia. Infinite Cards. Rescue Rabbit. Pot of Duality. Ultimate Shield. Chao Feng. And then our final, final pack, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we get in here. Leo Arms, Eagle Claw, Cloud Castle, Jack's Knight, Pendulum Exceed, Arcana Knight Joker, Court of Cards. 
So that fellow duel list is all for today's video. Thank you very much for coming along. I do really appreciate you being here and in fact for making it this far into the video. As you can see, we've been very lucky today, not only for Konami to send these products out to us so that I can open them on camera for you, which is just an absolute blessing in and of itself, but also pull in an absolutely awesome collector's rare as well. Remember, if you want to get your hands on King's Court, it is the 8th of July 2021 that this is available for you to get your hands all over these packs. Whether you're a casual or competitive player, there's something for everyone in King's Court.